Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Hiroki from Japan.、Uh, today I made this video because I want to tell you something. However, my English is so poor, but I appreciate your kindness. Okay, so this year started with the spread of COVID 19, and today a very tragic case happened in. Which a black man was killed by a white policeman who knelt on his neck. Even in this year, 2020, it still happens that a white man kills a black man from discrimination. It's already 2020 and yet it still happened. I got so sad when I heard this news in Japan. Uh, for the last several years, I visited the US every year in order to improve my skills and to acquire experience. During my stays, I stay in New York for a while, which is my favorite town. New York is a very stimulating town, and I love people, culture, building, and everything in New York. It was my image of New York to accept everything. And my friend who l i v e in New York actually told me, You should accept everything if you stay in New York.、Um, however, in the town I love, I experienced something unexpected. It was an experience of discrimination. One day, I was walking in the town of Brooklyn with my friend who was gay. There were three men and women chattering in front of us. When we passed them by, I heard them saying out loud, There go s gays. They must be a gay couple. Disgusting. I couldn't. I couldn't believe my ears. I thought I must have mistaken something. However, it was not the first time for me to experience discrimination. I was born in a foreign country and came to Japan at the age of 10. Since my mother was a foreigner and I was not a pure Japanese, I was called stranger at school. And there were children who said, Go back to your country to me or the things that I don't want to speak of. I have already been under discrimination in Japan since my childhood. My only wish at the time was to live peacefully without being heard. I just couldn't feel what happened in the US. This time was someone else's problem. This is because I know that any kind of people could become the target of discrimination. Such thing should never happen because no one has the right to hurt others physically or psychologically. Hurting someone will result to hurting and making the person's family, friend, and partner sad. No one has the right to do so. Therefore, we shouldn't hurt or kill others for any reason. I think many Japanese people regard discrimination as something irrelevant to themselves or can't really understand what it is. However, discrimination does exist in Japan. It's just that many people aren't aware of it or are simply ignoring it. I believe that all kinds of people, Asian, Black, LGBTQ, all contribute to society. We shouldn't judge others by the color of their skin, sexuality, or religion. What personality do they have? Are they kind? Could they be respected? We should look at others in such perspectives. It is very dangerous to judge people by the color of their skin, sexuality, or religion. Not only black and LGBTQ, but also women have fought against discrimination and prejudice for a long time. In Japan, 
women don't have the right to vote until 1945, although it is hard to imagine. Women were victimized by the low status of women and from prejudice. However, our generation and the people of future generations must get rid of prejudice and discrimination against race and sexuality and create a hurtful future. My friend in New York is participating to the protest every day. I think what I can do from Japan is to call upon Japanese people as much as possible and to send a message that you are not alone from Japan. I, with this video, could be a catalyst for the future in which people all over the world could hack someone with affection. May all people suffering from discrimination and prejudice win this fight and be able to live in peace. To people fighting in the US, you are not alone. Your message has been transmitted to faraway countries. No matter how far apart we are, our heart will always be together. Black Lives Matter. Thank you.